What is good, y'all? It's your boy, The Shows. And if you're new to the channel, welcome to Shows World TV. Today, we got top five scary ghost videos to scream along to. Nukes top five, you know? So, man, it's been a long time since I reacted to this. I figure I'll react to a scary video before Christmas. Why not? I probably would have preferred to do it in the daytime. Anyway, y'all, y'all want to go watch the original? Link will be in the description down below. So, let's get right to it. Followed home. Now, longtime viewers of my channel might remember that almost one year ago, I featured a series of videos by a young Dutch woman named Sabia L. Oh, yeah. Sabia claimed that her apartment in the Netherlands was haunted by something that lurked in the shadows. Something dark. Yeah, this is the lady that had um, the silhouette shadows lurking in the room in the kitchen. Among other times that this has happened, I remember this channel specifically being on this compilation. And sinister. Yeah, same exactly. Okay. See. To be honest with you, I hope she moved, but something tells me she didn't. Yeah, I remember this one. <laughs> As time went by, the paranormal activity in Sabia's apartment intensified, becoming so terrifying that Sabia began to live in abject fear of whatever evil presence might be haunting her home. Nine months ago, Sabia L suddenly just stopped posting to YouTube. And Man, listen, if I hear something airy speaking to me, especially something that sounds like a child, I am out of there. Just, you don't even gotta tell me twice, I'm leaving. She brave to still be there. That real talk, she brave, cause me, I'm gone. Entirely leaving her concerned fans and followers wondering just what happened. But then, just three months ago, Sabia made a surprise return to her YouTube channel. She posted only one short video. The post was a positive one, letting her followers know that she had finally saved up enough money to move out of her terrifying haunted apartment. The 30 second video shows Sabia giving one final walkthrough of the empty apartment. Her optimistic video title proclaimed, Last Video. Haunted apartment in the Netherlands. No more poltergeist activity for me. As you might guess, Sabia L's nightmarish story did not end there. Sabia says that she experienced months of peace and relaxation in her new home. But then strange and disturbing things began to happen all over again. The odd events quickly became more and more unsettling. One night... You know, I hear sometimes the problem is that... You think you've been rid of something and then it follows you wherever you go. And I would just hope that anybody I know personally especially isn't going through something like that. Because I don't know if I could ever stay around a place like that. That's, that's just insane to me. You know, to think that something can be that powerful enough to follow you wherever you go. Lights in her hallway begin to flicker. So she pulls out her phone and begins to record. She encounters something absolutely horrifying. Oh, the new house. Oh, 
Yo, why do I look like someone in the doorway? Oh. Yo, I don't even want to look like that. Once I start to hear walking, running, and it's just me, oh, oh, I'm out of the... I'm walking in the dark. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't Did you see it? No. Sabia turns away from the hallway as a light fixture suddenly moves on its own. When she turns back, the hall light has gone out again, and something dark and menacing seems to be waiting there for her. Whatever it is then seems to charge up the stairs, but understandably, Sabia does not follow. Nah, you know, it's crazy. Sometimes you don't even notice it because, you know, the light is not too, um bright enough to see it and they have to brighten the image but that's crazy the shuttle was just standing there in the dark oh. Sabia L believes that the dark malevolent being that haunted her old apartment has now followed her to her new home but what do you think let me know down in the comments a window to the soul so this is a story that starts weird and just gets weirder but first, a little bit of history. Way back in 1679, Irish Catholic priest Oliver Plunkett was arrested for supporting the Catholic faith, which at the time was considered a serious criminal offense by the English monarchy. He was held in Newgate Prison in London before being executed. And so here's where things get really weird. Over 240 years later, in 1921, Oliver Plunkett's head, yes, just his head, was brought to St. Peter's Church in Drawheda, Ireland, where it was put on display in a garish, ornately decorated glass box. The St. Peter's Church also placed on display the prison door of Oliver Plunkett's jail cell from Newgate Prison, where Plunkett was held for eight months before his execution. YouTube user Vicky Bramshaw was on vacation when she visited St. Peter's Church in Drawheda, Ireland. She is recording the exhibit of Oliver Plunkett's jail cell door when she catches something Absolutely unnerving. This is the door of the cell in Newgate Prison, where St. Louis Plunkett was imprisoned for eight months. He's a very really interesting figure because he was, he was one of the first ecumenical Christian priests. There is a small opening in the ancient jail cell door, and some pale, ghostly face just seems to peek out of it at them. I thought I saw something. I oh, know I wasn't bugging. He says she has no idea what this face could be. She says she has no knowledge of visual effects to fake something like this. And she didn't even notice the face until she reviewed her footage later. So is this the ghost of Oliver Plunkett still peering from his old jail cell door? Or is it just a very, very odd trick of the light? You decide. If you don't stop with the trick of the light, there's no trick of the light. That's just a creepy image. And a rattle scary one at that. .com. The Haunting Tales of Chernobyl. On April 26, 1986, reactor number four in the Chernobyl nuclear power plant exploded, resulting in the worst nuclear catastrophe in history. A total of 117,000 people were evacuated. 
but many suffered horrific tragic deaths as lethal levels of radiation swept over the countryside. To this day, the land around the reactor is still highly radioactive. It has been deserted for over 35 years. Italian paranormal investigators Paolo, Debbie, Jack, and Simone from the YouTube channel Pit Paranormal Investigation have the unique opportunity to explore and investigate the abandoned ghost town surrounding the Chernobyl power plant. Experienced tour guide Alex safely escorts the group through the dangerous area. The Pit team begins their journey in Pripyat, the city closest to the Chernobyl power plant. The nervous investigators soon realize that they have to conduct their investigation in an entirely different way than normal, as everything around them is highly contaminated with radioactive fallout. E dobbiamo completamente cancellare tutte le abitudini che abbiamo. Tutte. Ed è una cosa difficilissima. È difficilissimo, ma anche solo appoggiare uno zaino momentaneamente per terra. Non si può. Non si può. Appoggiare, non lo so, non un ginocchio per scarpa, terra ecco. per legarti la scarpa. Non si può. And that's the risk y'all willing to take just to see some ghosts going into a radioactive site. Couldn't be me. You know, there are worse things than... I would imagine that there are worse things than trying to discover ghosts in a radioactive place. I mean, that's just a risk I just think is not worth it, bro. But, you know, some people want to be that adventurous, and I say more power to them. Raga, è veramente una cosa difficile Guardate, da solo fare. così, cioè questo è un contatore Geiger, eh, misura le radiazioni, solo per dirvela brevemente siamo a 1,40, 1,50 e contate che la soglia massima, massima è 0,30. Now most of the abandoned buildings in Pripyat are extremely dangerous to enter, so it's illegal to go inside most structures. For this reason, investigator Paolo has brought along a small remote controlled car with an attached GoPro. He carefully drives it into one of the abandoned structures as he records. After a bit of exploring with the RC car, he stops it inside and leaves the camera recording in an attempt to capture anything out of the ordinary. When they review their footage, the team is shocked. Now, as I mentioned before, Paolo and his team are all outside and no one is allowed into this building. So what is this? I ain't gonna lie, the music made me jump more than the uh, actual shadow. But that was pretty brief. I mean, if you even blink, you wouldn't even see that it was there. You know, a lot of things don't get caught till the replay for most of these videos anyway. So... Strange shadow moves from right to left, seemingly followed by two other strange shadow anomalies. Soon the investigators are forced to leave the area, so as they can long. only be exposed to the high radiation level for a limited time. Another night, and the Pit Paranormal team has the unique opportunity to explore the abandoned old Chernobyl hospital. Obviously, the building was the site of intense tragedy and suffering, as many passed away here during the Chernobyl meltdown. It is said that their spirits still haunt the hospital. The pit team brings all of their equipment, hoping to properly investigate the hospital and maybe even make contact with any spirits that might inhabit the building. What they capture is truly bizarre. A strange unexplained sound startles the pit paranormal team. Paolo grabs his thermal camera and starts to record. What happens next is downright chilling. When they start panning 
back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Just makes me think I'm gonna see something crazy. Now, luckily, most of the time it's just a lot of hype, but there have been those certain moments where it definitely um jump scared me. So I don't know what we're gonna see here. Probably some more shadows. <laughs> A creepy figure seems to appear but can only be seen through the thermal camera. Inexplicably, the figure seems to emit more and more heat. Hallow and cameraman Simone approach the apparition and they discover something terrifying. Paolo and Simone are shocked as the thermal camera reveals footprints on the floor in the room right next to where the figure appeared. The door slams shut and locks, separating Debbie and cameraman Jack. And now, they too encounter something terrifying out in the hospital hall. Arriva da quella porta, c'è una porta socchiusa, Debbie. Arriva da quella porta lì. Arriva da quella porta lì. Arriva da quella porta lì, è socchiusa. Did you hear it? The two nervous investigators capture a deep breath-like voice on camera. Cos'è? Porta lì. Arriva da quella porta lì, è socchiusa. Eventually, the team is reunited and they leave Chernobyl believing that they did in fact make contact with some of the ghosts of Chernobyl's past, excessively haunted. Now, if you're a regular Nukes Top 5 viewer, you know that I've featured the popular paranormal YouTube channel Really Haunted many times. Homeowners Lee and his wife Stacy have experienced increasingly violent paranormal activity in their home in England for years now. And it yes. just seems to keep getting worse. The last video I reacted to, and this is the exact scene, she got dragged out the bed. I remember this one from some months ago. This one was pretty insane. I don't know why, again, why some people just refuse to leave these places. It just makes no sense to me, I guess. You know, maybe, maybe at the moment you can't afford to move, but I, I just, I could just never, um, find myself in that position to where if there's a poacher guy's possibly trying to taunt me I'm, I'm just not sticking around you know what i'm saying i stay at another family member's house or something i mean everyone's situation is unique but i, I couldn't be me uh, that's, that's all i'm saying mm -hmm. <coughs> bro like nah Back. Lee's wife Stacy says that since the bed incident, she is so scared of the violent poltergeist in their house that she often just avoids sleeping in their home. Mm. I'd stayed in the caravan a bit before that, but that was the once was that the happened, end. I never went back in the house after that. Over the four months since I last featured Really Haunted, Lee says that the activity in his home has only become more intense and frightening. The 
this is a rather disrespectful ghost. You don't even have to trash the place, like, come on. And now you're turning things on, come on, bro. This is like a game. Stop! Set. Oh, Lee says that he refuses to leave his home, regardless of the extreme poltergeist activity. But facing off against a malevolent spirit is not easy. Long as it was. Late one night, Lee hears noises outside his second story bedroom. He gets up to investigate, but it did not go well. In the meantime, we're gonna go for a This is why I tell people, man, if I start hearing random noise in the house and I know that it's not coming from people, I'm not investigating, but I'm definitely not sticking around here. Was he pissed? Something seems to violently push Lee, launching him backwards. And whatever pushed him now wants in the room. The noise. That's the attic. So is Lee's house, quote, really haunted? As always, I leave that to you to decide. Unwelcome. Paranormal investigator Sandro Silva from the YouTube channel Casa Sobrenatural sets out to explore an abandoned home in Brazil. The house is said to be extremely haunted by multiple dark spirits. He's joined by his two friends, Macon and Klimerson, as they carefully walk through the rubble of the deserted structure. The air feels heavy as the team reflects on the ominous atmosphere. Suddenly, they get an unexpected fright. Passou a ser uma energia muito pesada, mano. Essa casa é sinistra, mano. Fica muito louco. Os padrões ficam. Meu Deus do céu, Sandro. Sentiu o barulho, mano. Não queria nem vir, cara. Não queria nem vir, cara. Fiz tudo. Cara, foi nitidamente, quebrou, mano. Caiu, quebrou, mano. Os padrões ficaram. Os padrões ficaram. Os padrões ficaram. Pesada. Vocês viram que caiu uma terra ali, mano. Nossa, foi nítido, cara. Quebrou, mano. Vamos arpar o pé daí, mano. Mano, caiu uma terra ali, velho. Pô, começa a jogar a terra em cima da nossa cabeça, é louco? Tem alguma coisa aqui, cara, que não quer nós aqui, mano. Não. The three friends suspect a roof tile has fallen nearby and discuss whether it's safe to continue their investigation. But before they can even reach a decision, things take a terrifying turn. Yo, 
I think these um LED video lights is making me a little blind. I did not see that at all, but maybe they um brighten the image on the replay. That look like um somebody stalking them or something. That's a little crazy. Sandro is shocked as he sees the pale apparition of a child right in front of him. He gathers his courage and checks out the area, but there's no one there. Then another roof tile falls and the three friends just make a run for it. So did the Casa Sobernatural team capture the ghost of a child on camera? Let me know what you think. Okay, y'all, uh, this one wasn't too crazy. I've definitely had videos where I jumped more when, you know, watching the compilation, but this one wasn't so crazy besides, you know, a few of the apparitions and, you know, like I say, you see the shadows every so often. But, yeah, this was pretty uh, tame compared to some of the ones that I've seen. But, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this reaction. And if you did, please leave a like, share, comment, and subscribe. Once again, this is Shows World TV. I make reactions, sketches, and vlogs. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter to be updated with everything that I've been doing. All the links for everything else is in the description down below. So I want to thank y'all for watching, alright? I'm definitely going to be um, uploading next week, but I I might not uh, do it the week after. But I'm certainly going to be uploading for this week and next week. So I'm not sure about the one after that. But I hope y'all enjoy your Christmas and everything. Once again, thank y'all for watching. And if you want more videos from me, like this one, then click that reaction playlist right there. And if you want one more recent video, then click that over there. All right, so I'm going to go edit this in a bit. So it is your boy, The Shells, and I will see you guys next time when I upload. Peace.